I've always had a romantic idea of a dinner party in New York that's filled with people from all over the city, from all different backgrounds, um, that are just chatting and sharing deep thoughts on all different topics over a delicious, warm meal. Um, but that's ultimately what Alpha is. My name is Ben Diamond. I've been in the city for about six years. I grew up nominally secular Jewish, uh, but didn't care about any of it. And before doing Alpha, I would have considered myself uh, philosophically sympathetic to Christianity. If you believed it, your life would probably be better. Uh, I just didn't think that it was really true. My name is Steph. I am from Manchester in England. I've lived in the US now, specifically in New York, for five years. I have had some probably really derogatory um, beliefs about Christianity and how not intellectual I found it. I've probably bounced around the atheist, the agnostic spectrum for quite some time. Alpha is a dinner and discussion series for people that are seekers, um, agnostic, atheist, um, or people even that were maybe grew up in the church but got hurt by the church and haven't been back in a long time. Who's walking into that room are really brave people who are willing to walk into a dinner party with other strangers, which is the essence, the core of what New York City is, a bunch of strangers that showed up to a city to commune with other people. It's the safest space I've ever been in for people to really share, and space is made for a God that's external to them to reach them. My approach was never, should I just decide to believe because it would make my life better? It was, is this actually true? I found Alpha through a friend actually years ago, and there was a week about the historical facts. What is the evidence for, say, the resurrection? And um, I started approaching this as something that might have actually happened and is completely real as could be. And around this time, though I didn't make the connection to later, my life basically started completely changing. Like, that anxiety I had constantly before. Like, where did that go? The thing I experienced most was just kindness. People were genuinely thrilled to have you in the room and be part of the discussion. The other thing that really uh, surprised me about Alpha was the level of intellectual conversation and over time, you know, you go through these sessions and with my own research, it just kind of came to the point where I could no longer deny what I was now believing. The more I looked into this, the more I became convinced that based on all the evidence I can see, it seems pretty, <laughs> pretty convincing that this is actually true. In the midst of Alpha, there is a weekend away and you, you know, take time to journal and, and think about what you've experienced on Alpha. Now, one of the things I've really struggled with throughout this journey is why would I deserve this gift of being loved by God? And it hit me at that moment that I was loved and that it didn't matter what I did. There was no transaction, there was no condition. It just was. And I remember looking around the room and thinking like, I know none of these people well, but I've never felt more safe, more loved and more secure. I've seen guests healed in Alpha. I've seen um, generational uh, pain broken on families. I'm glad my friend Sarah sent me to Alpha because if this is what God can do in 12 weeks, like, what's he gonna do in the next year? You can either talk about these issues in a completely open, non-judging way, or not, right? But there's very little to lose. I'm really grateful to the Alpha leaders, uh, including and especially Joel, for uh, changing my life. <laughs>